A comment left under one of our recent battery videos struck a nerve in a way most technical discussions never do. It was short, calm, and unsettlingly direct. You left out the biggest advantage aluminum has over lithium. Aluminum does not spontaneously combust when exposed to oxygen. That single sentence cuts straight through the usual debates about range, charging speed, or acceleration. It goes straight to the fear many electric vehicle owners carry quietly and rarely talk about. What happens when something goes wrong? Not how far the car goes on a charge, not how fast it gets there, but whether the battery sitting a few feet away from your home, your garage, or your family can turn into something uncontrollable. And that raises the real question for the coming years. If aluminum-based batteries do not burn the way lithium-based batteries do, could Tesla finally remove the lingering anxiety that has followed electric vehicles since the beginning? Does battery safety now matter more than squeezing out a few extra miles of range? And what would that change in daily life? Overnight charging, parking inside a garage, letting your family ride without a second thought. That is exactly what we are breaking down today on Torque Element, a channel built for people who want engineering truth instead of hype and real analysis, instead of recycled headlines. If you value thoughtful Tesla discussions like this, take a moment to support Torque Element by subscribing and turning on notifications. Our next growth milestone matters because it unlocks even deeper long-form Tesla analysis you will not find anywhere else. Now let us talk about the uncomfortable topic Tesla and the broader EV industry have largely avoided addressing head-on. Fire risk. For more than a decade, lithium-based batteries have powered every Tesla on the road. Their advantage is clear. High energy density. That single characteristic made long-range electric vehicles possible at all. But that same concentration of energy carries consequences that are rarely discussed outside engineering circles. Under normal conditions, lithium-based cells are stable. Millions of vehicles prove that every day. But when something goes wrong, mechanical damage, overheating, overcharging, or internal defect, the chemistry behaves in a very specific and dangerous way. As internal temperatures rise, the separator material inside the cell begins to break down. At higher temperatures, the cathode materials release oxygen internally. This is the critical detail many people miss. Lithium battery fires do not depend on outside air. The battery supplies its own oxygen. Once thermal runaway begins, the reaction sustains itself. Temperatures escalate rapidly and a single failing cell can ignite neighboring cells in a chain reaction that spreads faster than most suppression systems can contain. That is why lithium battery fires are so difficult to extinguish. Even after flames appear to be under control, reignition can occur hours or even days later. Water cools the reaction, but it does not stop the underlying chemistry until the energy is fully exhausted. Now contrast that with aluminum-based battery chemistry. Aluminum behaves fundamentally differently when exposed to oxygen. The moment aluminum contacts oxygen, it forms an extremely thin oxide layer that effectively seals the surface. This layer prevents further oxidation. There is no internal oxygen release. There is no sustained combustion mechanism comparable to lithium. In laboratory testing, Aluminum ion cells have demonstrated a tendency to fail quietly rather than violently. Under crushing, puncture, or extreme heat conditions, the cells typically lose voltage or shut down instead of igniting. This difference changes the worst-case scenario entirely. From a vehicle design standpoint, this is enormous. Current Tesla battery packs are engineering masterpieces of containment, liquid cooling channels, fire-resistant barriers, structural reinforcement, pressure relief systems, software safeguards. Each layer exists for one reason, to manage the consequences of a chemistry that stores immense energy in a compact space. All of that protection adds weight, complexity, and cost. It works, but it is not free. A battery chemistry that does not self-sustain combustion changes the entire equation. 
Reduced need for aggressive fire containment means simpler pack architecture, less material dedicated to shielding, fewer failure points, potential weight savings that ripple through efficiency, braking, and handling. This is not just theoretical. It directly affects daily ownership in ways that matter most to real drivers. Most electric vehicle charging happens at home, overnight, inside garages that share walls with living space. For many homeowners, the car is parked beneath bedrooms or near family areas. Even if the statistical risk is low, the severity of a rare failure creates lingering unease. An aluminum-based battery that fails passively rather than violently changes that psychological equation. It does not eliminate risk, but it narrows the gap between best case and worst case outcomes. That difference matters when the vehicle is part of your home environment. Temperature resilience is another overlooked factor. Lithium-based batteries operate best within a relatively narrow temperature window. Outside that range, efficiency drops and long-term degradation accelerates. Extreme heat forces cooling systems to work continuously. Extreme cold reduces available range and performance. Aluminum ion chemistry has shown promise across wider temperature ranges. Early prototypes indicate greater tolerance to heat without approaching failure thresholds that trigger runaway reactions in lithium systems. For drivers in hot climates where vehicles sit outdoors under intense sun, this stability is not academic. It affects confidence, longevity, and peace of mind. Range still matters, but context matters more. Most daily driving falls well below extreme range requirements. The majority of trips are short, predictable, and repetitive. A vehicle that comfortably covers daily needs without stress does its job. The difference between a very high range number and a slightly lower one rarely changes daily behavior. But the difference between worrying about a rare catastrophic failure and trusting the system completely shows up every single night in the garage. Charging behavior reinforces this point. Fast charging places significant thermal stress on lithium-based cells, especially at higher states of charge. Repeated exposure accelerates wear and raises internal resistance. Aluminum ion batteries are expected to be more tolerant of high current flows due to reduced chemical volatility and lower risk of dendrite formation. If validated at scale, this simplifies ownership, fewer warnings, less anxiety about occasional fast charging, more consistent performance over time. Insurance and property risk are the final piece few people discuss openly. While electric vehicle fires are statistically less frequent than gasoline vehicle fires, when they do occur, damage severity is often higher. Battery replacement costs can be enormous. Structural damage to homes multiplies losses quickly. Insurers care deeply about severity. A battery chemistry that fails without sustained combustion reduces maximum loss exposure. Over time, that can influence premiums, coverage terms, and even homeowner acceptance of EV charging. Viewed through this lens, Aluminum ion batteries are not about winning range competitions or marketing bragging rights. They are about redefining acceptable risk. Tesla understands this trade-off better than most. That is why aluminum ion chemistry is likely to appear first where safety, cost, and predictability matter more than maximum energy density. Urban vehicles, entry-level models, stationary energy storage, autonomous fleets. The upcoming Tesla Model 2 fits that profile perfectly. A vehicle designed for daily commuting does not need extreme range. It needs reliability, affordability, and trust. A battery that dramatically reduces fire anxiety aligns with that mission more than chasing the highest possible number on a spec sheet. Repeated DC fast charging accelerates degradation and increases internal resistance. Aluminum ion batteries are expected to be more tolerant of high current flow due to lower dendrite formation risk and reduced chemical volatility. If validated, this could simplify ownership, fewer warnings about charging limits, less concern about occasional fast charging, 
more consistent performance over time. Insurance and property risk are the final, often unspoken factor. While EV fires are statistically less common than gasoline vehicle fires, when they occur, claim costs are higher. Battery replacement alone can exceed $15,000. Structural damage to homes from thermal events can push total losses well beyond that. Insurers care about severity, not just frequency. A battery chemistry that fails passively rather than violently reduces maximum loss exposure. This does not mean lithium-based batteries are disappearing. They will continue powering long-range and performance-focused models where energy density remains critical. Aluminum ion batteries expand Tesla's toolbox rather than replacing it outright. If Tesla proves this chemistry at scale, the impact may be quieter than a new acceleration record, but it may be far more important. Removing fear changes behavior. It changes how people charge, where they park, and how comfortable they feel bringing electric vehicles fully into their daily lives. For many drivers, especially those who value predictability over peak performance, a battery that sacrifices a little range to deliver a lot more peace of mind is not a compromise. It is an upgrade. So now the question comes back to you. If a battery is designed to fail without burning, does maximum range still matter as much? Would you trade a few extra miles for the confidence to charge overnight without worry? And if Tesla proves aluminum ion batteries at scale, would you trust them in your own vehicle? Share your thoughts in the comments. Real discussion helps this channel grow and helps others see these technologies from different perspectives. If you found this deep dive valuable, support Torque Element by liking the video, subscribing to the channel, and turning on notifications so you do not miss what is coming next. In the world of electric vehicles, progress is not always louder or faster. Sometimes it is simply safer.